Okay, so this is the Gatorade water bottle rant. This right here is my first Gatorade water bottle. It has been the best water bottle I've ever owned. It has the squeeze functionality. You can actually see the water going inside the bottle as you fill it up because of a transparent rectangle that goes down the bottle. And it was extremely cheap. It was only $6. So a couple of weeks ago, I took my Gatorade water bottle back with me to Finley when I went there to work. I mistakenly left it in Finley when I went back to school, so I became water bottleless. I needed a new water bottle. I knew I wanted another Gatorade water bottle because it met my extremely high standards of water bottles and it's pretty cheap. So I went to Target and I found the exact same water bottle I left at home. But then I looked next to it. Here was the same water bottle I had, but for only $4 more, I get this premium embroidered dots-like fancy plastic experience. Look, I'm not one for finer things, but every now and then, I like to treat myself. The feel in the hand was just different. It just feels like such a more quality product. So I took the upgrade and I got the nicer Gatorade water bottle. I upgraded from a $6 Gatorade water bottle to a $10 Gatorade water bottle. So what was the problem you may ask? Well, instead of tell you, I'm just going to show you. Okay, so here is a test of my original water bottle. I'm sorry I look kind of goofy, I, I wanted to get the POV shot. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this cap is on as tight as it can, this thing never fails, watch this. See any water? No water, no spill, it's perfect. This water bottle works perfectly normal, exactly as advertised. It's a reliable product. Now let's try this new and supposedly improved dotted embroidered water bottle that feels way better, but let's just go ahead and try it and see what happens. Make sure it's tight just like I did before with the other one. Do you see that? Do you see what just happened? I just took a drink of this supposedly better water bottle. Yet there is water. I don't know if it got, actually got on me. It's not on me in this case. But if you can see, I, I, I'll show you the point of view shot. There is water all over the table. And this will happen every single time you take a drink of this supposedly more expensive, improved water bottle from, Ga from Gatorade. So as you can see, this premium $10 Gatorade water bottle is not worth the extra $4 you will spend over the basic, everyday, reliable Gatorade water bottle. Don't let the fancy plastic around the sides fool you. Every time you take a sip of this Gatorade water bottle, even though it might feel great in your hand, you might feel like this, this is, this is a work of art. Every time you go to take a sip, I'll do it again. See that? Even more water on the table. That is why this is a good bottle and this is a bad bottle. My recommendation is to buy the cheaper, better bottle over the crappy embroidered version. In all seriousness, it really stinks because I love the way this one feels, but I just can't trust it. Too many times, too many, have I went to take a drink, not thinking that any water would get all over me. 
and then the sloshiness of this bottle, the, the water, it rushes, it covers my shirt, it ruins my day, it devastates my afternoon, I can't do it anymore, I went and got my old bottle from Finley back, and this one, well, this one just doesn't get used. Wait a second, could this water bottle be a fluke? Could maybe this water bottle be a bad bottle out of the bunch? If I went to Target right now and I got another water bottle of the fancy embroidered version, could that one work just as well as my regular bottle? I guess that would completely invalidate this whole video on my recommendation to get the cheaper bottle over the embroidered version. Ugh. All right. I guess I gotta go get another bottle. Just so you guys know, it is raining, um, and this sucks. This is a South Campus bound way. Thank you. Man, it is, it is wet and it is cold. Target. I got another of the embroidered water bottles. We are going to do the final test. Actually, hold on. This one has a different cap. Well, I guess this, I guess this kind of invalidates the test because it's not the same bottle. Unless this bottle mistakenly got this cap. Well, no, actually, because, no, they're the same color. No, they're not. Okay, so these are two similar looking caps that are different colors, but this one looks legitimately different, but it still has the embroidered texture on it, as you can see. So we are going to test to see. This is a $10 one, it's the same price as this one. We're going to test, and why is there so many different bottles of different color? Anyway, we're gonna test to see if this bottle with the braided, the braided water bottle, if it does not leak so that it will be worth the money, because I'm telling you right now, if it does not leak, 
the braided plastic is worth it and I would recommend it. Okay, let's do this. We're just gonna take some water from the good bottle, pour it in the... <laughs> okay, so we got the point of view camera going. I got the water in this bottle. Um, I guess all I can say now is cheers. Hold on. Okay, a little came out, but that's because I squeezed it. This is the solution. This is it, guys. This is the best of both worlds. I got the point of view shot. This is it. This is the bottle that you have. <laughs> so what are you going to look for? If you want the braided option, if you want the braided option, you have to make sure it has the lid that looks like this. It does not look like this. These are both braided bottles. You can see the difference in the color. You have to get the lighter orange on the, in the center if you want the upgrade. If you see a braided bottle like this, this is a bad bottle. It will not, the lid will not fit the bottle correctly. You will get water all over your shirt. But with this one, this is the best of both worlds. You can feel the, the embroidered plastic just like this one, but you get the reliability of the classic. So again, I don't know, you're just gonna have to look for the, the, the light orange on the top of the lid if you wanna get the embroidered bottle. So that has been the Gatorade water bottle rant. Um, why did I make this video? I don't know, I was pissed off that I kept getting water all over myself when I used this dang bad bottle. I wanted the best, and guess what? I ended up winning. I ended up finding the perfect of the good bottle and the bad bottle, the plastic, the regular, it's just like, it's the best. So again, now, new recommendation. Spend the $10 only if you can find this lightly light orange cap. If you can't find it, don't buy the inferior product, go with the classic. But if you find one with this lid, spend the extra four, get the premium water bottle. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been, again, one more time, the Gatorade water bottle rant. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. ZN, <laughs> ZN out. Scene.